Yeah, well, this kind of behavior is just completely unacceptable to me. Trouble? I swear, I, I can't seem to find a good assistant. I had to fire Elaine this morning. Maybe it's not the assistant's fault. Pardon me? Ah, uh, I just meant that it's probably a pretty demanding job. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the reason we're here is we have some questions about... Not my patient, Sam. We talked about that last night. Of course not. That would violate your convenient code of ethics. Why don't we go into my office? There's more space to spar. Ah, uh, I have to use the John anyway. The men's room is down the hall. There was another woman killed last night. She had pieces of jade placed in all her body orifices. And according to the book that you let me, that's an ancient Chinese burial ritual. So, we think... She's connected to the first murder because of the ritual. Did you have other people die like that? No, no, not really. The first was Roman Catholic. A death ritual of any kind, that, that seems to be the connection. Uh, the latest victim was a Stephanie Drews. Patient here is by any chance. Before I answer you, Sam, may I ask you something? Sure. Did you find any evidence that she was a patient of mine? No, nothing at all. Not even an old bill. Then what made you assume she was? Because of the victim at the morgue. The woman whose picture you saw in my car. She was a patient of yours. I haven't said anything to my partner yet. But I would like an explanation. What exactly are you implying? Why didn't you tell me that woman was your patient? I didn't see the picture in your car very clearly last night, Sam. It was dark. I was crying. And you never mentioned her name. What do you think you're doing? She was going through my files. It was not. These are confidential. No shit, I know that. What? I just came in from the bathroom. Oh, of course she's going to freely admit that she was engaged in an illegal act. Yes, I would, and no, I wasn't. I think you should leave before I call my attorney. Both of you. Let's go, Jess. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're gonna take her word over mine. I'm not taking anybody's word over anybody else, okay? We'll talk later. I'll be back in touch. Not without a court order. Jesus, Jesse, didn't I tell you to ease up a little? What kind of cooperation are we going to get from her now? What kind of cooperation did you think you were going to get from her anyway that you didn't get from her last night? Why are you looking through her files? Look, don't you think it was awfully clever of her to pretend that I was so she'd have a reason not to talk to us? Man, you're losing objectivity. Me? Me! Oh, what's wrong, Dietz? Did I mess up your chance to get laid? You're out of line, Peretti. You understand? I don't care how cute you think you are. This is perfect. She's an expert in death, and you're brain dead. Hello? 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 The hour is coming. Now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Morton, where are you?
Look, Corey, I know this is probably none of my business, but I just want you to know a few things. You know, my dad was a cop, too. He got killed when I was 11. You know, and after, um, after he died, I realized I didn't want to love my mom anymore because I didn't want to hurt like I hurt after I lost my dad. Your dad's a cop, Corey. He might not come home one night. But then again, he could outlive you. You know, everyone dies, even parents. But you can't be afraid of losing them because you will someday, sooner or later. Just trying to call you. Um, I need to talk to you about something. Sure, come on in. Come on in. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go shopping lately. Oh, water? Oh, no, thank you. I was calling to uh, apologize about this afternoon and to ask you uh, not to let it get in the way of our investigation. Sam, um, I'm here because I wanted you to know I'm considering filing charges against your partner. It's not just the unlawful search and exposure to malpractice. Some of my files are missing. You think Jesse took them? Who else? The bad guy. Which files are missing? I have hundreds of patients and no assistant. It would take me days to figure that out. It's not acceptable. The longer it takes, the more people will die. All right. What are you suggesting, then? Jesse and I will come there first thing in the morning. We'll look through your files. We'll see if there's any correlation. Oh, so that's it. That's the game. Good cop, bad cop. Your partner takes my files, you blame it on the man you're chasing so you can slide in without a court order. Oh, very slick, Detective Dietz. What are you talking about? I guess we'll just have to work this out in court. Court? Sarah Lee, I'm not the enemy here. I'm just trying to solve a murder case. I need information from you, not threats. Damn you for using me like this. I'm not using you. Well, if you're not, your partner is. No, no, no. Jesse's not like that either. Oh. How do you know? How long have you worked with her? So maybe I'm not so crazy, huh, Sam? Good night. So much for objectivity. <laughs> 